I was making this video, I made one mistake and I put in the wrong block. See if you can see when this happens. Hope you enjoy the video. Hello year five. Well, we're going to be doing a calculator today in Scratch 1.4 and we're going to be doing a calculator that will work out the area of a square. Uh, let's see what we need for this. We're going to start off, let's say, with our flag because that will start the program. Now we're going to use a pen because if it's smaller than 10, I think we can draw it. So if we go to our pen tool, so what we're going to need to do at the start of the program is make sure it's clear, make sure he's pointing the direction he is at the moment and go to x0 y0 what does this do well it puts him dead in the middle because if you imagine we've got a cross in the middle and we've got the x and y axis so y to the sky going up and x is across and zero zero is going to put us right in the middle so that's a coordinate like on a map and it'll put it right us in the middle of the stage now we're going to say hello He's a nice polite cat and he's going to ask a question. So he's going to ask, we're just going to type in here, what is the length of one side? So we're going to need to know the length of one side of the square to get the calculator to work. Let's set the pen colour now because when the pen goes down. And remember, if you ever you need to set colour, you just need to click in here. You can choose a colour from the palette. You can choose it from anywhere else on the screen. If I wanted it the same colour as the cat, I could put it there. If I wanted it the same colour as one of the blocks, I could do that. But let's go for a nice deep blue. There we go. Right, so we're going to set the pen colour, then we want the pen to go down. But we only want it to go down if it's smaller than 10. So we need an if. Okay, if. Then we need to go to operators in the green. And we need smaller than in the first box there. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I need to put the answer from this question in the I'm going to take answer, put it in the first square. Now here I want to say, okay, so if it's smaller than 10, because any bigger than 10, then we won't be able to draw it on there anyway. So let's have him say, let me draw that for you. So let's start with let me draw that for you. And we'll put in an exclamation mark. Okay. Now, obviously, how many sides has square got? Well, square's got four sides, so we're going to need a repeat if he's going to draw. Put it into there so we're in the middle of that big crocodile block we've got another little crocodile block here so that's an if block this is a repeat block there's four sides to a square okay so this is a little bit harder now so what we're going to do is we're going to say move steps <coughs> excuse me we're going to say move steps and i want to put in the answer so I've got from the operators I've taken the times sensing I want answer in the first one so we're going to move the answer times 18 I think it's going to be a good number and then I'm going to turn 90 degrees so where's motion turn so we're just going to have right angles because it's a square. 
and we're going to repeat that four times. So I'm going to move in there. And they both go into the repeat. So we've got move, answer, times 18 steps. So he actually moves, turn 90 degrees. Now that's finished, so we don't want to draw anymore, so we want the pen to go up. So that pen down, the pen goes on the paper, pen up, pen comes off the paper. Uh, let's, we need him to tell us the area now. So we want to say the area is the area is I've put the caps lock on there so you've got to be careful with that. Let's go back and then the area is dot 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 now the answer so we're going to say operator times again so obviously it's the answer times the answer so I'm going to take answer from sensing and it's going to be timed by the answer put that in there so let me just check this. So we've got when flag click clear point direction 90 degrees go to zero zero. So x zero y zero. That'll put him in the middle. He'll be facing this way. There'll be no drawing. He's then going to ask what is the length of one side and weight. The pen color will be blue. The pen will go and go down. If the answer is under 10, it will draw us a nice square and then tell us the answer. If the answer is over 10, then he'll just tell us the answer. Because only if the answer is smaller than 10 will he draw. That's what this little block here is. Let's try it. Hello. What is the length of one side? Well, let's put in five because we know what five times five is. It's going to be 25. Let me draw it for you. That's a nice square. The area is 25. There you go. So that's a nice little area calculator for a square in Scratch. Okay, goodbye then.